Today is a gift, a fresh opportunity to change your life with God's Word. It is our prayer that this devotional will do just that. February 13th. God wants you to take on the family likeness. Bible verse to ponder upon. Instead, we will speak the truth in love, growing in every way more and more like Christ, who is the head of his body, the church. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 15, New Living Translations. At creation, God said, let us make man in our image. From the very beginning, his plan was for you to become like him. He wants you to become godly. This means to take on his characteristics, his attributes, his values. He wants you to see things and feel things and think of things the way he does. Babies are cute, but if a baby never grows up, that will be a terrible, terrible tragedy. It's a terrible tragedy if you don't grow up spiritually. Growing up spiritually means becoming like Christ in everything. If you want to know what God wants you to look like, be like, and feel like, it's all in Christ Jesus. It's the picture of spiritual maturity. Spiritual maturity does not just happen overnight. It's a process. It takes your entire life. God will take the rest of your life to build your character like Jesus. This process is called discipleship which is also becoming like Christ. As you become like Christ, you become what the Bible calls holy. Holiness means being like Christ. God uses a lot of ways to make us spiritually mature. One way he uses is the Bible. We are transformed by truth. The more you get the truth into your mind and the more you are going to be changed. So you need to read, study and memorize this book. You need to apply it to your life also. Another way he uses to mature you is through people. You need people in your life. You can't grow to maturity on your own. God also uses unexpected things to help you grow into maturity. These are the troubles you go through, the temptations you face, and the trespasses of others against you. Troubles teach us to trust him. Temptations teach us to obey him. And trespasses teaches us to forgive. Are you going through troubles, temptations, or trespasses from others, I would like to leave you with Romans chapter 8 verse 14 which says, we go through exactly what Christ goes through. If we go through the hard times with him, we will certainly go through the good times with him. Let us pray and repeat this prayer after me. Father, the process of spiritual maturity is ongoing. Since it's not an event, help me know, abide and walk in this process daily till I come to full maturity as I present myself daily as a living sacrifice. In Jesus' name, Amen. Our Bible reading plan for today is Exodus chapter 35 verse 10 to Exodus chapter 36 verse 38, Matthew chapter 27 verse 32 to 66, Psalms 34 verse 1 to 10, and Proverbs chapter 9 verse 7 to 8. The Lord bless you and keep you.